Previously, we did LTE pass-through, where we essentially turned this LHG into a DOMB modem that's providing internet access to our HAP AC squared. And I'm saying DOMB because it only has one Ethernet port, and using it as a pass-through interface, we can no longer access it. So we're essentially pointing it roughly in the direction of the cellular tower and hoping for the best. But for more advanced users, that is not enough. So this time around, we will set up a more advanced configuration where we're still able to access the LHG so that we can change the configuration, update the software, and we can even monitor and improve our signal. We have a video on that. We have to start by resetting the LHG. It's pretty easily done if you can physically reach it. Just open this little cover, unplug the Ethernet cable, and find the nearest button to the RJ45 port. Hold down that little button and plug the Ethernet cable back in. The LEDs light up and then watch the three green LEDs. Once they start to blink, release the button and close the lid. This will reset the LHG to its default configuration. So I can now plug it directly into my laptop and set it up. Uh, so it should show up. Just select the MAC address and connect. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create two new LAN interfaces. One will be for management and one will be used as the LTE pass-through interface. The interface is obviously Ether1. The VLAN ID obviously needs to be different for both of these interfaces. And if you don't know about VLANs, they need to start from two because zero and one are reserved. Okay, next I want to add the MAN interface to the LAN interface list that comes pre-configured on the LHG. This will allow it to exchange uh, neighbor discovery packets over this newly created interface. Now I can set the NET interface for LTE pass-through. I want to disable the DHCP server and the IP address associated. Go to IP DHCP client and add interface man. And we're all done. The LHG configuration is ready. Now I'm gonna plug the LHG into the internet port of our HAP AC squared and connect to that router instead. Now on this router, I need to add the same two LAN interfaces. And then I want to add the newly created net interface to our WAN interface list so that any traffic coming from this interface has to be processed by the firewall. And then you might be interested in adding the MAN interface to the LAN interface list so that network discovery packets are exchanged over this WAN. But we also want the HAP AC squared to act as a DHCP server so that it can provide an IP address, a default route, and most importantly, network access to the LHG because it has handed that access over to the home router. And it, it needs to use this HAP AC as a gateway to the internet. So on interface bridge, go to port, subsection, and add the MAN interface. 
Just a quick caveat so that my colleagues don't kill me. I'm adding the management LAN to a bridge because it simplifies our configuration significantly. And in our setup with two devices, everything is going to work perfectly fine. But in larger networks where you get switches and routers with bridge ports that rely on spanning tree protocols such as RSTP for loop detection and prevention, you are very likely to run into unexpected issues such as link downs. So if you're going for something more complex, do not add any VLANs to bridges and visit our help page where you can learn about common misconfigurations and find alternative solutions. And finally, we need to change the DHCP client running on the internet port because it is running for Ethernet 1 and not for net interface. And just like that, it has received an IP address from the mobile operator. It has internet access. So now, if we look at the neighbor list, we can also see our LHG. The LHG has received an IP address from our home router and we can connect to it. Let's see if we have internet access. We do. So we could check for updates. And we found an update. So we know that everything is working correctly and you can begin using your advanced LTE pass-through setup. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.